As you flick through the agenda here at the Mobile World Congress in Shanghai and you look at the session titles, one word repeatedly crops up. Reimagining the future of devices, future first policies shaping tomorrow's connectivity, new horizon for future digital economy, and well, you get the idea. You suspect that the old cliche, the future is now, is thudding off corporate tongues all around me. But alongside the future gazers are plenty of future shapers, experts in the actual technologies that are set to transform all of our lives. People, in fact, such as Dr. Antonio Jara, an entrepreneur and innovator. He's the chair of data quality and the Internet of Things at the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. We met up earlier on, and I began by asking him what, in future, the Internet of Things will actually mean for us all. The Internet of Things means the opportunity to collect and understand all what is going on around us. So the opportunity to get all this data and interpret it and understand what is behaving and how is acting different parts of our life is all what IoT is helping. Helping is just a way to raise awareness for the digital ecosystem of all what is happening in our world. So as much data you provide from your city, from your context, from your daily activities, AI will be able to help you, will be able to understand your behavior, to understand how to improve your quality of life. Now you have a role in NEON, the project Correct. in Saudi Arabia. Just tell us a bit there about, in practical terms, what is IoT doing in that instance? NEON is, as you know, is one of the most advanced cities right now in the world. We are very lucky that Huawei is supplying there the cloud infrastructure and supporting all the monitoring of the ecosystem. And in particular, Libellion is supporting the environmental monitoring. One of the main and clear opportunities for NEON is to build cities in a more sustainable way. And when we talk about sustainability, it means, again, collecting and informing all the citizens and people living in the neighborhood what is the impact of developing and creating NEON. So all the monitoring of pollution, dust, noise, all the performance of this construction, but also all the quality of life, the safety for all the workers. And that is where exactly technology like Huawei is helping us a lot, enabling this connectivity in the middle of nowhere, enabling connecting in the middle of really desert yeah. all these sensors and systems to collect the data and after send to the telco cloud developed by Huawei to monitor and understand what is the real impact and opportunities to improve the safety and the sustainability of the construction. What is the development, what is the area of research in IoT that is most interesting you as an expert in this field? So right now the most important area is data quality and data governance. AI is based on data. If they don't have the right data, they don't have the right capacity mm. to help us and to improve our process. So for us, the main opportunity now is to guarantee that we have the right data quality and also the data governance. Data governance is about to guarantee that you have always the data sovereignty to allow and understand in a transparent way how data is helping you. Yes. So at the end of the day, a lot of people are concerned about privacy or security, but that is opposite. Exactly, data governance is about guaranteeing that you have always the control, the understanding about how your data is being used. When it comes to IoT, is there anything that you're looking out for here from businesses? What would you like businesses such as Huawei to be, to be doing next in this area? So right now for the Internet of Things, all the key innovation, we always want longer recovery range. At the end of the day, we need also autonomous sensors, so they need to be energy efficient. So all the power supply with batteries must be very long term, so low power consumption. And I think today, all the technology, like for example, Huawei is leading all the new 5G advanced with all the new technology, like what is called red, uh, reduced capability, red cap. Yep. So all the technology like red cap, uh, reduced capabilities, red cap is bringing a lot of value. So for me, this event, Mobile World I think is the real launching of red cap technology, because it's the evolution of what we have in 4G. So I really feel that all this evolution of 5 year advance with the rest cap is all what we are requiring in terms of coverage, lower power consumption, more trust, because yes. now also is enabling much more quality of the management of all the trust and control of the data access. So I think that all the novelties here in Shanghai and in the Mobile World Congress 
for IoT, especially is all the huge opportunities that 5G advanced on the hand of Huawei, and in particular the Red Cup technologies are bringing to the market. It's interesting you talk about huge opportunities, and you're obviously very passionate about this subject, and I get a sense of sort of positivity, almost excitement about it as well. Do you think the public shares that energy, but also that understanding? And if it doesn't, what can we do to ensure that people really do see the potential and the impact of the Internet of Things? I think the potential of the Internet of Things and the impact, at the end of the day, we in, that is the benefit, to enjoy and to have the benefits every day. Traffic management is a very good example. All the control of traffic line, all the crowd monitoring are very good example. like city like Shanghai and in huge events like Mobile World Congress. Yes. The traffic is quite well managed. And there's a benefit of the connected city, of IoT, with all the control of traffic light that you know exactly how many seconds are remaining to go to the next stop. So this kind of advantage are in some way transparent for the user, but they are really bringing a lot of benefit. For us, bringing here to this event and don't have a traffic jam yes. is an implicit benefit that so, suddenly... So, but so it doesn't really matter if the public doesn't understand IoT as long as they benefit from it. Are they benefit? At the end of the day, it's like I ask you what is about data. It's our fuel, it's our capacity to understand. IoT is the mechanism to enable and to connect everything. People start worrying about IoT when things doesn't work. But as far as things work well, it's transparent for us. It's like water supply. You don't care if you open the tap and water is there, clean and healthy, you don't care about water supply, and it's a huge technology behind. And this is what IoT is doing. IoT and companies like Huawei are enabling so reliable, mm -hmm. so affordable technologies that people don't really worry about IoT as they don't worry about the tap water, but they take the benefit of this. So it doesn't matter how it works, so long as it works. By this work, that is the important point. And all this is the benefit of the IoT. How to guarantee that your experience is smooth and you don't really feel the impact of changing to a more advanced technology.